That's my running shower for outside. Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to uh, do a video on my um, my newest addition to the van. Uh, so I'm coming up on a year of living in the van full time. I'm almost there and I finally now have running water in my van. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. So for a year, I've been using three of these one gallon water jugs. So this is gonna be a huge upgrade for me and um, it's gonna be pretty cool. So this is a sink that I bought. It's 15 by 15 and six inches deep. It's a, it's a bar sink. I'm not going to use the faucet because um, it's too high for what I'm doing. So that's, uh, that's the bar sink. I went and bought this. It's just a kitchen sprayer and I bought that little cap to close off the other hole. Um, this is my water pump. I got this from Harbor Freight, which this thing's pretty, pretty awesome. Works really, really well. Um, this pump also came with a hose, came with a strainer. Um, I'm not using the strainer, obviously. This is my plumber's putty <laughs> for my, uh, my drain. That's the green hose right there that came with the water pump, but I'll get to that in a minute. The pump comes with its own on and off switch, which is going to be awesome. Um, that way I didn't have to hook up my own. It already comes with it. When you buy the pump, it comes with alligator clips. My plan for this is I'm going to cut these alligator clips off and I'm going to hardwire them to my batteries. All I have to do is hit this on off switch and um, the sink will be ready to go. I bought two of these six gallon water jugs from Walmart. Um, the original plan was I was gonna use one for fresh water and then one for my gray water, my dirty water. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill up both of them with fresh water and I'm just gonna use one of these old one gallon jugs that I was using for fresh water before. One of these guys. I'm just gonna use that as my dirty water. So I still have to connect my drain. So I'm gonna hook up my drain and it's gonna to go to one of these. So this is the uh, water pump and I put on a splitter that you usually use for your garden, for your house. So when you usually use one of these for your house, you can run two hoses off of it. So my idea, my plan was I'm going to run one hose, which is this one here, off of one side and that goes to the kitchen sprayer. And then the other hose, which is that one down there, that's the green one that came with the sprayer. I'm going to use that for my outside shower. This is my outside shower head, <laughs> which is awesome. It even says shower. So I'll get to that in a minute. I bought the white hose from Walmart. They say it's the drinking hose, the drinking water hose. So I figured since it's going from my fresh water into, um, into my sprayer, I'll just go ahead and use that hose. I guess I didn't have to, but why not? 
So right now it's going into just one of my jugs um, just for this purpose here so I can show you how everything works. And, um, but it's, I mean, it's, it's tucked in back there, so it's out of the way. Where I have it here, it works out kind of perfect because I wanted the front of this in the front of, um, the compartment so I can fill this up with my little jugs. Um, that way I don't have to carry this all over the place and get fresh water. I can just use, I can just use these. You know, it's easier to carry these and fill these up. And um, and then I can just fill up here. I am going to have two of these. So that's total of 12 gallons in these jugs. And then I'm going to also have one gallon and then another fresh gallon here. So altogether I'll have 14 gallons because I'm going to use my other jug like this for my dirty water. So altogether, I have 14. And shoot, I, I mean, I can go and buy a couple more of these one gallons, you know, just to have them. But um, but yeah, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So you take the um, the hose from this side out of the fresh water, and then it's connected to one side of your water pump. And then your other side of your water pump goes to whatever you're using as far as, you know, a hose or a sprayer or whatever. Um, so it's really not that hard to hook up. If you've ever used one of these before, it's not really that hard. All right. For the purpose of this video and only this video, um, I have the alligator clips hooked up. Obviously, one to positive, one to negative. The wire unfortunately is running across the floor that's why my plan is to hardwire that so it's not across the floor and i don't have to do this and make this mess every single time i want to use the water i'm gonna have the switch like right here and then i'm gonna run the wires down here and then drill a hole in here and then run the wire underneath that way and then across um, on the other side of this wall across and then into my battery bank where my fuse panel is um, just make it cleaner make it out of the you know so that way it's out of the way it's not a mess all right so this is one setup that i have like i said one's going into here into the sprayer and one's going into the green hose so I'm going to do this one first. So for me, turn it on. <laughs> now that's, that's strong enough that I could actually take a shower outside if I wanted to. Like I said, that's strong enough if I wanted to take a shower outside, but I'm not going to use that for my shower. That is for my sink only, um, just basically, you know, to fill water, um, brush my teeth, you know, maybe even, you know, wash my face, maybe even wash my hair inside, you know, or, or whatever. Um, but uh, give Charlie some water, stuff like that. The next part is... This one here goes to the sink up top, so I need to shut this off. So that's off. So no water is going to go through this tube, through this hose here, and up to the sprayer. So now I turn this on, this one. So now I opened up that valve. So now the water is going to go to this green hose. All right, same concept. Hit the switch. Now the water is going through the green hose. There you go. That's my running shower for outside.
So that is my water system for right now, uh, which is awesome. Like I said, I don't have to use three of these things anymore. It's crazy. I've been living in this van for almost a year and this has been my water. Three of these, three of these gallon jugs. It's crazy. Anyway, like I said, I'm not done yet. Um, it's still a work in progress, but the water is working. Um, I just have a few, few things I have to do. Like I said, cut off those alligator clips, run those wires, hardwire that, number one. Number two, um, hook up my drain. I'll hook up my drain um, so that way my dirty water has somewhere to go. Number two. Number three is I have to, oh yeah, I have to, this here, because I had to put so many extensions on here, um, I'm going to put an elbow right here. And then I'll be able to connect the hose to it. And the hose won't be, because it, it's kind of hard to see on the video. But this right here is almost against this 2x2. Two two. So once I put the elbow right here, then I'll be able to connect the hose to it up top. And it'll be away from this 2x2. Um, two two. So that's number three thing I have to do. And then number four thing I have to do is I'm going to build a wall, obviously right here. So this will be covered up with the wood that I'm using um, throughout the van, which is this stuff here. So I'm going to put I'm going to put that wood up this wall like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this section here between here and here. So my wall is going to start here down that two by two, but I'm going to leave this section open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Velcro down this whole side. And then I'm going to use this as an access panel. So there's going to be wood here. There will be wood here, but I will be able to take it out and off and on like that and then the wood will start here for the wall and work that way and all this will be fastened in screwed in but this section here i want to leave easy access because number one i have to go in and switch those um switch that over open the valves for depending on which one i want to use also the switch is going to be there and also to grab my outside shower you know I have to be able to grab my outside shower so um, so yeah well now all that stuff's done man that's gonna be cool it's gonna be pretty awesome um, but yeah man like I said it is not complete but <laughs> for the first time in almost a year I have running water in my van in my house I'm stoked I'm pretty happy man yeah it's gonna work out really well Running water in my van, finally, after almost a year of living in this thing. So, uh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Drive safe.